Hi, welcome to hellebore dissection. Today we are going to dissect a hellebore flower that is, you know, pretty much pollinated, but there are a couple of nectaries in there, which is my favorite part. So this is the hellebore flower. As you can see, it's a little late in the season. And so the flowers, unfortunately, a bunch of my flowers were not, did not make seeds this year. So even at the nurseries, I've noticed that. So I don't know what's going on. Usually they're very fat ovaries right here with a bunch of seeds in them. Uh, these, they bloom in the winter. So my birthday's in February and I love them because they bloom in February. So that's really cool. Um, this year it's been so cool that they've gone a little bit longer in the season. So I just want to show you really quickly a little bit about the plant itself. So if you notice these leaves, they are joined here at the base and then they have a bunch of different leaves coming out from it. And all of that is connected to a single stem back here. So if you watch and learn about the leaves and the leaves uh, lessons, then you'll remember that um, leaves have all these different special names. So the name for the way that these leaves are shaped is that they're palmate. So it's like a palm, like the palm of your hand. So it has a central piece and then there are different things coming off of it. And so you can have things that are palmately lobed. So like an oak leaf or something like that that has lots of different fingers on it. Um, but this is not palmately lobed. This is a palmate compound shape, which means that there are a lot of different leaflets. They're not leaves, they're tiny leaves, leaflets. Um, they're, and they're all connected. And the so this is their central point. Hopefully you guys can see this. This is their central point, and then you have all the different ones coming out. So you can have them going all along the stem, and that's a different kind of shape. When they all come off of one point, that's um, palmate compound. So I just wanted to show you that, just in case you've watched another video. The leaves themselves have this long central, sometimes it's easier to see on the bottom, the long central vein down the center, and then the other veins coming out of it. So that's a pinnate. Uh, venation, the way the veins are formed as venation. So anyway, that's a little about the plants. Um, the, they have these base pieces coming up. So we have a few different ones in this pot and usually they like to do that. They like to clump and then they'll get really big and mound up and the leaves will die every year. So they usually die in the winter and then the, the flowers will come up and bloom before the rest of the leaves. And um, so you generally have like a bunch of dead leaves and you can just cut those off and then you have all these gorgeous flowers and then all the new leaves will come out. So it's a perennial, but it gets new leaves every year. And then it makes these beautiful flowers. So hellebore flowers are amazing and there are many, many different kinds. The one that you see here is the Hellebores HGC Love Bug. And the other one, the one that I'm actually cutting for you, we have no idea, it just says Helleborus. So. Who knows? But it's really cool. It has these nice, um, the purple, little pink on the edges. So I will show you up close what it looks like. First thing we notice is that there are five petals. And when there are five petals, that tells us that it is what? It's going to be a eudicot. So I'm just going to take those off first. Maybe I'll put the petals up here. So when I did the drawings of the flowers, I took the whole flower and just cut it down the center and then drew it. But for these, I'm going to do something a little bit different. So now that we've gotten a couple of those off, you should be able to see more of what's going on in the center because you won't have those colors distracting you. So these pieces right here are the stamens or stamina and stamens have um, two main parts to them. So they have this long white part right here is called the filament and then on the tip is the anther and the anther is where the pollen is located. And then I'm gonna put my glasses on so I can see a little better. Oh, look what just fell off. My favorite part. This is absolutely my most favorite part of the hellebore. And I never even noticed it until really recently because they fall off. So if you look at 
the hellebore drawing that I did, you will notice that this is a pregnant hellebore. There are all these little seeds right in here in this ovary. And this, so this right here is the pistil coming out. Uh, and there's not really, you, there's nothing else going on at this base, right? So there are no more stamen and there are no nectaries, but these are the nectaries. So this flower is still trying to attract some pollinators, maybe a bee or something like that. So I'll put this right here. Hopefully you can see it's like a little trumpet. It's awesome. There's this little um, long piece right here that will have nectar inside of it. So this is called a conical nectary and the nectar is hidden inside of it. It's almost like a cone. So it's like the conical is referring to the shape of it. And um, it has a whole bunch of them all around in a ring around the base of the flower. So this is just one. One fell off down here. Sadly, there it is. And actually, why don't we open up one of these for you? I'm gonna open it up on my cutting board. Let's see if there's another one. Yes, so here you are. You can see those long little pieces on the base are right here connected in, and then they come up. So there is a nectary and a bunch of anthers, pollen, it's attached to it. Pollen like to stick to things. So let's open it up and see what it looks like. All right, so there's nothing really going on inside there. As you can see, it's just pretty smooth. Um, but that is where the nectar is, and so the insects would be able to reach down in there and get it. And while they are doing that, they're all around the very base. So these are all on the outside, the nectaries. So now that we have those nectaries off, you can kind of see a little more of what's going on. I'm going to slice through the center so you can see here. So right here we have nectary and I'm just going to put this guy kind of back where it used to be. So the nectaries are on the very outside. And then we have the stamen right here on the next layer. And then in the very center are the ovaries. So you can even see the ovules just a little bit right there. So the pistil begins really far back. And so the ovary is at the base. And then right here is the style. And then at the very tip of the pistil is the stigma. And the stigma is sticky. And so that attached the pollen will go from the anther of the stamen onto the stigma, travel down the style, and then it will meet up here with the ovaries and the DNA will, will combine and it'll make these little seeds right down in here in the ovaries. So the, oh, there's half of one. Here's the other half of one of the styles right there cut into it pretty centrally. And then here's one that wasn't cut into. So you can see there are five of them in the center and they all kind of connect and touch one another. All right, so I think that's it. If you wanna do a drawing from the flower that I've cut open here, you're welcome to do that. But it would be even better if you could find your own hellebore beautiful, wonderful plants, um, and then cut one open for yourself. All right. Bye guys.